how to use Google Trends to find dropshipping products. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be teaching you how you could utilize Google Trends to be able to create an effective dropshipping product. So as you can see right now, we are currently in Google Trends and what we're going to do is we're going to check out trending now so that we could see the specific things that are trending right now in specific places. As you can see here, the daily search trend is Delta 2 for the Philippines, the Titanic movie, Google Ads, this person over here, and all of this information over here. Now, this will be a cluster of different types of data. You could also change the different countries over here. For example, you're from Hong Kong, you can click on Hong Kong, and it will filter it out. Of course, the result or the text would be different as well. So, what you can do is select a country that you would like to search on just like this or you can click on explore over here so that you can check out a specific term now what i suggest when using the google trends is you already select a specific niche that you're trying to create a drop shipping product out of for example you can think of a specific product or a specific vehicle let's say car let's search for a car over here search that and you will be able to see the interest or the topic that people are searching for as you can see here we have the car x suite a video game over here this is a trending topic right now there's also chevrolet over here toyota we go and all of this type of vehicles or types of topic over here you could search different types of topic look for different types of niche for example again let's try sport called sport and we will be able to see the top trending sport right now. This is Toby, Ford Ranger, Ford Nissan. So let's change this to a specific sport like sports bike, make me. Click on sport bike. And you have here the specific trending topic. We have Kawasaki Z1000 and different types of sports bike over here. R1. And let's say, let's search for something else. Uh, let's go with games search for games over here and let's see which one is the top ranking right now for games we have the southeast asian games over here uh multi-sport events there's icebreaker pokey real topic sea games sea games to win it's going to take a while to be able to find a specific type of topic that you're trying to look for you have the games over here see this it's not going to be easy to be able to find a specific topic you're trying to look for. But as you can see here we have the, the Last of Us, one of the related topic right now, rising topic that is related to video games in the Philippines. And you can see here also in the middle like the interest over time. We have 2023 here, it's being high right now so we could utilize this. So let's say we would like to create a Last of Us topic for our dropshipping business now we're not really going to directly say the last of us but we're going to like try and create something similar and then we could use that as like a fan art for the last of us game so let's go over here for today's video we will be utilizing printify as our dropshipping platform so we will be using this and we will be also using canva over here so let's go and create our design over here click on create design custom size and simply type in the size that you would like to have i would like to have a one by one sizing over here great design and there we go now in the last of us the theme or the topic is zombies and like fungi so we could utilize that so we go over here in canva then we go and click on elements and then you could build up your output so let's enter a circle over here i'm simply going to think of an idea that i could utilize like that then let's turn this to red because i think the red color would be effective let's make this a bit darker a dark red there we go now we have our red dot on our screen then in the middle let's go put in another element over here let's say a zombie because there is some graphical elements that are related to zombies over here for the last of us and let's look for an arm you could also put this if you want it's a bit of similar to the last of us effect so we could actually cut this double click it and then we could 
cut this or let's actually keep this as a whole or we can just do this instead put it over here in the middle just like that let's fix the cutting a bit put it on top there we go let's not check that out for now let's just put it over here there and then after that let's look for a zombie a zombie arm this can serve as like the fungi effect of the the last of us zombies and you can see here maybe we could utilize this put it here make it smaller just like that then we could turn it into the opposite side change the position let's flip this to vertically just like that then make it bigger uh let's change the transparency just like that or let's click on edit image let's change it to a darker color there we go contrast let's adjust the contrast over here fix it a bit there we go tint you change the tint blurness maybe let's make it a bit blur just a tiny bit and x process go warp now there are some easier topic to create but we're sticking with this for now because this is the topic that we have found out in google trends so let's stick with this for now let's disable the blur instead let's fix this I don't think I like a bluish tint, but there we go. Clarity, let's make this clear. Or let's leave it as that. Vibrant. Highlight. Like that. And for now, let's click on position. Put it backwards. And put it there. Or, hmm. I don't think we like this, so we're going to remove that. And let's look for another element that could serve as a reminder of a zombie. For example, this one. Go, put it there. Position it to the back. Forward it a bit. Go. Put it here. Let's actually make this bigger. And this one. Let's put this in the middle of our circle over here. There we go, then we could put this, make this a bit bigger. So we could hide the effect of our head over here being not completely fit with our effect or our circle over here, layers. So let's go so that our arm over here, put it down a bit. Let's put it down. There we go. Then let's simply crop it instead. Cancel position select our arm over here double click this it's not really working properly so uh, let's have that for now uh, let's put it on top of this there we go and uh, we have some sort of effect let's make this one a bit transparent there we go then let's change our background actually Let's change the background of our image to something else layer this one let's change this to a different color black maybe or red let's just adjust this to a bit darker color there we go then we could adjust the transparency this to the back just like that then let's search for fungi fungi there we go and we have all of this option over here we could utilize this option over here then let's just change this to white instead and let's wait here we go then we could change this to a position in the back here we go and we could duplicate this once again put it on this side and we could flip this vertically here we go and or we could remove this actually let's just settle with this one we're changing a lot because you know in real life it's not going to be easy to design uh output or design a t-shirt design or an output very easily so we're going to take our time and build our output over here 
There we go. So let's add more mushroom or fungi to our output over here. Let's add one last fungi to our collection. And let's see which one would be the most effective one or the good looking one. And this one over here. Let's put it in the background over here. Let's change this to white. And change the position behind the hand. Go or behind everything else. There we go. Now let's settle for this for now. This is going to be our The Last of Us team. If you're not familiar with The Last of Us team, The Last of Us is a genre or a game that is about zombies that is focused on survival and the main culprit of the zombies in the series are fungi so we're utilizing the fungi as our key element on our output over here so let me fix this change the position behind the flap there we go now we have some sort of effect and now let's settle with this design for now now after this i'm simply going to click on share download transparent background download then go to shopify or printify over here then choose our product over here let's say t-shirt select our t-shirt over here and we're going to design it the god start designing and I'm going to upload my design over here there we go I'm going to wait for it to be uploaded and right now it's loading and we will be able to see like a preview of our design then as you can see let's preview it in this section now we have our t-shirt design that is we here as you can see the last of us team and now we are currently going with the trend as you can see we could just label this drop shipping product as drop shipping we could as you can see we can now label this drop shipping product as the last of us concept art or something like that and that is one of the way you could utilize our Google Trends here to be able to create a trending or a trend related dropshipping product. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.